I think I feel pretty safe when I go in the hospital because I feel that they're doing the right thing. Everyone's getting a mask, you're getting your temperature taken and everything is being cleaned down. When I'm in the elevator, even if I'm in the elevator alone, yeah, it's super tempting to take off that mask because you want to take a breath of air without the mask on. Same thing, I'm like, okay, well, you could probably go in the bathroom, you could take the mask off for a minute and, uh, but no, probably not considering how those particle things are everywhere. Um, every, everywhere, everyone's wearing a mask, even in the, in the NICU, even the parents who come in all have to, to wear masks. And I noticed the, the workers there, especially if they were wearing you know, glasses, they were just trying to fiddle and fiddle and fiddle and get it just right and get it just right. It's never gonna be just right. And one thing that's really surprising is you don't realize when you've worn that thing for eight or 12 hours, I mean, it looks like it's really, even just the surgical mask, like it's just really stretchy and has these nice little loops that go around your ear. You know, you wear that for just four hours and you've got a horrible headache from that silly little string on your ear. Boy, we're sensitive, aren't we? The things that we do as respiratory therapists is we can give medications that you would inhale. So we can put it in a little device and, and have some um, like, uh, basically you use a compressor or in the hospital you use the air from the wall to help deliver the, the particles, kind of breaks them up and helps you inhale them. But they're finding that, they've done some studies and they're finding that those aerosols kind of hang out in the air for a long time. And if the patient is breathing them out, then th this just isn't safe for any of the workers. So they've transferred everything, all those treatments into a meter dose inhaler, kind of like what you see, like a puffer, like if you had asthma, but now um, all patients are gonna be given a meter dose inhaler. And again, it's because of the coronavirus. This week I am uh, I'm in the hospital Wednesday and Friday. So today and Thursday I'm home doing the other 17 jobs that I have. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe do some laundry, you know, but you know, I have a teenager and he's so good on the days when I'm working. He's just like, leave me a list and I'll do it. And when I get home, he's like, do you need anything? Or I almost feel like when I come home from work, I'm like an invalid now. Cause he's like, do you need anything? Can I get you a drink? Can I get you this? Can I do this? And I'm like, yes, yes, you can. 